Hey, we're the History Hikers. I'm Dries. And I'm Jente. Welcome to Pont. Where there used to be a castle, but now there's only a donjon. We're taking you along. Let's go. Our tour commences in the park that used to be the location of the old castle of Pont. It occupies a strong position on top of the rocky cliff and has been the site of many fortifications dating back to pre-Roman days. During the Middle Ages, it was strategically located between the English-held lands of Aquitaine and the French Kingdom and was contested heavily during the Hundred Years' War. During the 17th century, most of the castle was destroyed by King Louis XIII. Pont was a Protestant stronghold and a thorn in the side of the king. All that remained of the fortress was a donjon. The keep is one of the finest examples of a Romanesque keep palace in western France. Its austere exterior is strengthened by large buttresses supporting the 33 meter high tower. There are no arrow slits to be found anywhere in the walls. Most of the windows we see today were built five centuries after its initial construction. The following clips have some flickering lights as the frame rate of the camera does not sync up with the frequency of the lighting in the castle. If you are sensitive to that, it might be best to skip to the timestamp mentioned on your screen. Though we enter from the ground floor today, the actual entrance used to be on the first floor and could only be reached by a wooden staircase which could easily be destroyed or burned down during a siege. Construction of the donjon began in the 12th century when Richard Lionheart destroyed the earlier castle after a revolt. The first floor is a huge open space which functioned as the state room. Originally, the only light would have entered from the four large windows in the southern wall. These days, the room functions as a small museum. It was remodeled in the 16th century to make it more comfortable, which is also when the other windows were added. Graffiti lines the walls. The most beautiful must be this one from 1941. Je penserai toujours à elle. I'll always think of her. Access to the different levels is provided by narrow spiral staircases installed in the walls which are up to 4 meters thick in places. The terrace on top provides excellent views over the city and surrounding landscape. It is, however, not original in the slightest. In 1904 it was decided to construct these fanciful battlements with machicolations and corner turrets. 
Apparently, it was financed by selling a fireplace in the castle. Nevertheless, the crenellation is a nice modern crown to a fine piece of medieval architecture and it is the defining feature of the Pont skyline, reminding onlookers of their former glory. Time for the arbitrary detective castle score. I'm gonna have to say a seven and a half. Really impressive tower. Sadly, it's the only thing here. What do you think? Well, I'm questioning whether we should call it the castle score, as it's only a donjon. The donjon score, then? Donjon score. I'm just going to say a six. I was not that impressed by the donjon itself. I was more occupied by reading all the texts on the walls. Despite all this, leave your own score in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. And like, comment, subscribe and all that good YouTube stuff if you want to see more of these kind of castles, donjons. Bye.